Hi everyone. Today's video is what to do if your volt drop exceeds the maximum allowed stated in the on-site guide. So on your screen you'll see a rather complex cable calculation question where we've got the picture of a three-phase supply. We have a type B MCB going off to feed a single phase circuit, total circuit length is 64 meters. The question describes a lighting circuit. Now I'm going to jump to our ZS value and we will have an IZ value, so we will go from there. So as you can see I've worked out my IZ with my C factors, my IZ is 13.6. So now I need to choose my IZ and my IT, and that is from the IT tables in BS71. So if we look at the IT tables, towards the back, take our IT tab, and they start on page 448. So it's important we choose the right table. We've got to look. We've got to know which uh, table to look at. So the first one. As you can see it says single core 70 degree thermoplastic insulated non-armoured. This is singles non-armoured. Our question stated that we are using singles um, non-armoured. So this is our correct table. Now we need to know the reference method. Our question uh, the was uh, inside trunking, it said. So we are reference method B. Enclosed in conduit, on a wall or in trunking, etc. And we are single phase. So column 5 says three phase. Column 4 says single phase. So we are column 4. And we have our IZ was 13.6. So we need 13.6 or above. One mil cable is 13.5, that's too small. And the next one, 17.5, is the value that we want, and that is 1.5 mil cable. So if we write that down, so we have IT equals 17.5, reference the table, 4D1. A, and that was 1.5 mil cable. And we go back, <coughs> we now need the MVAM value. So these tables come as a pair. This is our IT table, here's our MVAM value. And we were reference method B, enclosed in trunking. So we can look at this one, column three says 1.5 mil cable, MVAM value is 29. So we can now write MVAM equals 29. Reference the table 4D1B. Now we need to do our volt drop formula. Volt drop. So for our bulk drop formula, if we have a little look at our on-site guide, and we go to our volt drop tab, so volt drop in the on-site guide, page 168, gives you your formula here. Bulk drop formula is MVAM times IB times length divide 1000. And below it, this paragraph here, says for a lighting point, which ours is, our question is lighting, it says it cannot exceed 3% of the nominal voltage. And then it's got 6.9 volts in brackets. What the on-site guide is doing, it is saving you from calculating 3% of 230 volts, because that is our usual voltage. So 3% of 230 is 6.9 volts. So my volt drop that I'm about to work out cannot be more than 6.9 volts. So let's put our values 
into the volt drop formula. So we've got our MVAM was 29 times our IB. So for this question, I've already worked out that IB was 4.7 and the length was 64. Divide a thousand. So that works out to be uh, eight point seven two volts. And you can see, obviously, we are only allowed six point nine. So we can write uh, max allowed is 6.9 this does not comply now what to do so the only thing that we can change in our volt drop formula we can't change a thousand because that's the formula we can't change the length that is a given in our circuit our IB, 4.7, we can't change that. The only value we can change in this formula is this, this 29, the MVAM value. The only way we change that, or how we get that, is dependent upon our IT, our cable size. So we go back to this step, we go back to IT. So we go back to our IT table, Let's move the on site guy out of the way now. Go back to our IT table. And we go to the next cable up. So we was at 1.5mm cable. So we go, the next cable is 2.5 and my IT becomes 24. So we'll just drop that down. IT is 24. Reference the table still. 4D1A, 2.5mm cable. Now we choose our MVAM. Back to our MVAM tables. We can see uh, reference method B, enclosing trunking, 2.5, my MVAM has now changed to 18. So this is... 18, reference that, table 4D1B. And now we do our volt drop formula once again. So our volt drop formula now becomes 18 times my IB, 4.7, times my length, 64, divide 1,000, Um, and that should equal 5.4 volts. Brilliant. So now we can write max allowed is 6.9 volts. This complies. And now we are ready to progress on to the next part of our cable calculation question. But for this video, this just shows you what to do if your volt drop for if your volt drop is too great. We are here, volt drop is too great. So then we go back a step. We go back to IT. We're back here, back to IT. And then we just go the next cable up. If this volt drop was too great of 2.5 mil cable, so this volt drop came in at seven volts, I would again do the same, I'd go back to IT and I'll go my next size cable. The next size cable up from 2.5 would be four mil, and my IT changes and my MVAM changes, this value changes and it will decrease the volt drop. But there you go guys, that is what to do if your volt drop is too great. Thank you for watching the video. 
Remember, we've got plenty of other videos on all of the other tests that you can do, and there are also many videos on cable calculations and all sorts of things that you're going to need to know to complete level two and level three in electrical installation. Now, if you want my tabs that I have on my BS7671, visit the website electricalstudent.co.uk where you can purchase those. Also on the website, loads of free stuff, loads of practice tests, mock exam questions and such like. Working with electrical installation guys, remember, be safe. Most importantly, listen to your lecturers. He or she definitely knows best. Take care guys, see you soon.